As we've traveled across North America, visiting wilderness areas and national parks, one park consistently came up at the top of the list of must-visit places suggested by fellow RVers. It's Glacier National Park. Now that we've been there and spent more time exploring the spectacular park, we know why. When all is said and done, Glacier National Park is probably our favorite when it comes to dramatic landscapes and the diversity of wildlife. We took our gathering of our viewers to explore and take photos of the most amazing beauty in this spectacular park. Glacier is a photographer's dream. Every direction is postcard pretty, even in the clouds and the foggy mists. There is so much to see at Glacier. Wildlife abounds. We saw whitetail and mule deer, elk, moose, and bear almost every time we ventured out. So the thing about Glacier, we keep saying you should take bear spray even on short walks. Well, we were on a short walk and, well, Joe, tell us what happened. As we were walking down the trail, the two guys up front with the bear spray said they, they saw a bear. And I was about 10 yards behind them, and I was watching the shrub move, and then I could see the bear. What, what was the bear headed for? The, um, the cow and her baby. Then she got up, and the baby got up, and then she was in frantic mode just going around in circles, getting on the trail. And that's where uh, I saw the bear. The bear was maybe 15 yards from the mama and her calf. And then he saw all of us on the trail and he kind of veered off away. Uh, then we, we didn't have the bear issue, but we had a moose issue. Moose issue coming and down here's, the trail. Yeah, what happened with the moose? Well, just trying to stay out of the calf in the mama's way. Uh, the calf decided it liked the open trail which I was standing on and ran right past me which gave me a little fright because I figured mom was gonna come get me but uh, uh, she was very tolerant and as I stepped off the trail to avoid the uh, the calf the uh, mama just went around us. All I saw was mama coming at me with her ears down and I knew I had to get out of the path and there was a gentleman up on the road that was telling me to move faster. <laughs> so I was going through the mosquitoes up that road. So, who gives good hikes? That's all I want to say. <laughs> we survived a one-one hike. That's the ten minutes. That's our t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, but we're not back yet. <laughs> Going to the Sun Road is one of the world's most spectacular highways. Bisecting the heart of Glacier, the 50-mile-long road follows the shores of the park's two largest lakes and hugs the cliffs below the Continental Divide as a traverse Logan Pass. It is not for the faint of heart or those who are nervous about driving narrow roads that twist and turn and are bordered with steep rock walls on the driver's side and thousand-foot drop-offs without guardrails on the passenger side. We stayed at the Chewing Black Bones RV Resort and Campground located on the Blackfeet Indian Reservation just outside Glacier on the banks of the Lower St. Mary's Lake. Our host at the reservation could not have been more accommodating.
Even the tribal chief came out to welcome us at a performance featuring traditional native dances in full costume. Okay, ready? Last one. The soul awakens, the heart is revived When the legends of glaciers revive I keep the legends of glacier alive Legend We're asked all the time what national park is our favorite and we have to say when all is said and done that Glacier National Park is probably our favorite when it comes to dramatic landscapes and the diversity of wildlife. For one final note we want to share the words of famous author and naturalist John Muir on his experience in Glacier National Park. Wander here a whole summer if you can. Thousands of God's wild blessings will search you and soak you as if you were a sponge and the big days will go uncounted. Thank mm -hmm. you.